you have tokens that you don't even know that if you stake them you are able to earn airdrops and a lot of them so today i want to go and talk to you about those and not the usual one that you see like celestia and those one that you know some that you might not even know they exist and they have a whole ecosystem of airdrops so let's jump straight and the first one is blue by kujira now kujira it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, token. It's been talked a lot about it. And I do have a video on my channel on also how to buy and do the whole process because it is a little bit complicated. But as you're able to go and see here, by stacking my Kujira, which is more or less a thousand dollars, which I do have invested in this, it's already, these are some of the rewards that I am claiming. I got 56 cents, not much, but this is just from the stacking rewards. And you simply go here, you select a validator, and Kuji is like uh, one of those, and we will come back to this in a couple of months when, you know, it's gonna explode because it is at three and a half dollars and there is very likely that it's gonna go at five or ten dollars easily. So we will come back to this and their whole ecosystem has a lot of possibilities of their jobs. And how do you earn the airdrops within the Kujira ecosystem? Well, you are simply needed to stake them, pick a validators. I pick three validators, so you're able to go and see I pick one two and three and i got my token balance i will buy more i will invest heavily in kujira because i do like the ecosystem and simply stake them earn the rewards aside from the apr which is on the stacking side there is a nice apr as well uh, you do get a couple of dollars but the most important thing is the reward so make sure you are going to go and join the kujira one another project that is in the mouth of everybody is Pyth. And by stacking Pyth, it there's so much hype around it that it seems to be the next Celestia as well. And for stacking Pyth, as you're able to go and see, we are simply on stacking.pyth.network. And all you have to do is stake tokens. So you have a hundred Pyth, a thousand Pyth, you come here, you stake them. And by stacking this token, there is no minimum required as of now. But in my opinion, all of this project that we're going to look at before Pyth and after Pyth in this video, I would say I would recommend $300 minimum on each. Just to cover it up, that used to be what uh, Celeste at the beginning was. So for Kujira, Manta, for Pyth, for the suite that we're going to go and Solana that we're going to go and see throughout the video, I would say $300 worth of uh, everything. But over here on the Pyth, you have the Pyth profile, the EVM address, you're able to go and submit. So if we go and, for example, take my Phantom, which we are connected to right now, you're able to go and join the Pyth ecosystem. Okay, this one is wrong. I will go and do it later, but profile, you got the governance where you're able to vote. And also in the Pyth, I think it's really important that you do go and vote on projects that, you know, you stake your Pyth, you have the possibility to earn the voting power after seven days, as it is written over here. Let me showcase you. Um, stacking over here, you got a seven day um, Pyth profile. Stakers and government participants can now map their EVM wallet address to their Solana SNPL address. So, but as we said, Epoch starts every Thursday at midnight and lasts seven days. So, you have the governance possibility on Pyth, but Pyth is another one that is super hyped. Stake your token, leave it there. If you don't have any plans to sell any of this token that we see today in the video and you are a long term holder, stake them, earn some beautiful air jokers, and a snowball effect, you know. Next up, we this one is something that we all know, but let me tell you this, it's expensive. So Manta Network, as we're able to go and see the minimum to stake is 2.5K Manta, 1.8K. So we're talking about, you know, a grand upwards of stacking possibility, which yes, you can do it, but there's also an easier way to earn and to stake your Manta to earn airdrop and reward. So stacking Manta over here is most likely the best uh, stacking possibility if you do have a nice amount in manta you're able to come here stake it put the manta that you want the minimum stake as you're able to go and see and it goes with the manta wallet over here but as we said the minimum one here that i see is 500 manta which could be hard for a lot of you and you probably don't have a thousand dollar in manta right now you didn't get a thousand manta from the airdrop or you don't have the possibility to go and buy a thousand dollar worth of manta well what is the second best choice to always stay within the Manta ecosystem? And it is inevitable, in my opinion, it is going to explode like Celestia. It is giving the same vibe. Is this going to go to $20 most likely yet? But of course, I'm no financial advisor. This is just what I would and I am going to participate in. 
For the Manta one, you are able to go over on Layer Bank. Now, Layer Bank allows you to, and this was the first step that we did also see in my Manta video, you are able to land the stone, which I did have. So when you deposit Ethereum in Manta at the beginning, you were getting stone. And now you are able to get your Ethereum back in like 60 days or something. Well, at this time we have stone and stone is one of those things which this is not really a staking platform, but if you do the lending and borrowing, if you just land your token without borrowing, so without taking the risk of being liquidated, without taking the risk to losing money, because when you lend and borrow, you could get in permanent loss and you could lose money if one asset goes up and the other one goes down. If you simply supply your stone, so your supply to the community, you get, first of all, a 3.8% APR and also some Manta rewards, some Manta bonus. So by simply lending the token, it is kind of like stacking the token. You are getting an APR and as well here, I staked my, I landed my stone token. I am getting my Manta bonus reward, which Layer Bank and Manta, they work hand in hand. And I also have my Manta, which I did receive from the airdrop. I also went and put it over on here. So as you're able to go and see, you are able to take, I am able to withdraw my Manta, which I do have right there, but I am putting Manta on because if you go and uh, put it over here, we got the managed one as you're able to go and see. I have my tokens all locked, not locked up. I can take them away anytime I want. I'm simply lending them. It is a uh, point system, so I got my points over here. I am 5,300 uh, in total. Uh, I don't know how many address there are in total, but a bit. And also the uh, the Manta over here. So uh, I am getting points also for the Manta. I am going to be getting a rewards and airdrop for this. So by simply lending your either stone, if you participate in Manta, or if you bought Manta, you're able to lend the Manta tokens over here on Layer Bank. You are going to be eligible for the airdrops also on the layer bank and all of the um, project that layer bank itself goes and participate and meet up with. The next one is something that we you probably didn't know about, but if you have the SUI token, you're able to stake SUI token. And I take you two example over here. You're able to stake your SUI token and get airdrop rewards. These are two of the projects that we see that you are able to stake on Volo, so stake.volosui.com. You will find all the links down below, by the way. Here, you're able to stake your SUI and you receive the SUI. It's like you stake TIA, which we've seen in the videos previously, and you go and receive the milk TIA. Same, same operation over here. You simply stake and you get the airdrop once the token launch. Another SUI ecosystem or another SUI project that will allow you to earn the airdrop is Hedal over here. As you see, very much under farm, only 5,920 total users. Simply stake your token and receive the airdrop of this. And they are confirmed airdrop already. Like this is going to be an airdrop for these takers of the SUI ecosystem and over on their platform. So we've seen two SUI tokens, uh, two Manta token, one Kujira, which in my opinion is the best. And there's also, if you do have, and you would like to participate in a Solana project. Now, over here on marinade.finance.app, it is, I left it for the last one because it's the one that gave me the least reward when stacking it, but you are able to stake your Solana and get MSOL instead. So once you stake Solana, Marinade will give you the MSOL, which is kind of like a one-to-one -one with the Solana token. And you are going to be able to receive the MNDE uh, token. So this is a token that you do receive. Now this token is worthless as it stands at like 20 cent a token. And for stacking Solana for a month or so, I got like 40 cent in total. So this is why I left it at the end, but you never know that it could explode in the future. So if you do want to participate it, go ahead. You will find the links down below. But when it comes to the stacking, there's a lot of opportunities and Kujira, in my opinion, the number one, there's a lot of opportunities where you go and you have tokens like Ethereum. You will be you, you are able will take you more videos if you do like this one where you're able to stake uh, BNB. You are able to stake Ethereum, stake token to optimize your returns in different protocols. It is very likely and it is very possible. So I hope you did enjoy this video. There are many other protocols, and as I said, if you do enjoy it. I'm happy to take you two videos a day. If you if you think that it could be something that it's important for you and you want to know more about it, I am happy to take you the videos. I'm happy to take you all the information that you need to know for the airdrop. But 
don't miss uh to this video i posted to this is the second video of the day make sure to go back and watch the other one if you have missed it because it's there's a very nice project and it's a really uh it's a very new project like we have gone and seen the airdrop possibility on a token which we are testing the wallet now it's a whole new network and we're testing the wallet now we are at the very early stage and it's probably the first airdrop that i take you this early on so make sure to go and check that out but with that said uh, make sure to leave a like subscribe let me know down in the comments below which one you want to see next and with that said i'll see you all in the next video ciao guys